Hey guys, this is FaZe. Recently, I was asked by some of my subscribers, what is my favorite book? And that really got me thinking. Not about what the book is, because I know that right off the bat, but why this book is so special. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about my favorite book, The Alchemist, written by Paulo Coelho and the beautiful life lessons it taught me. But before we begin, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. The Alchemist. When I purchased this book back in 2015, I purchased it only knowing that it's a book that is very popular and well-loved. In fact, it is one of the top best-selling books of all time. I had even read and watched interviews of celebrities who read it and have been so inspired by it. The constant theme in The Alchemist is to pursue your dreams by following what your heart desires. And this book has many lessons and nuggets of inspiration sprinkled throughout the story. So how can one book be so transformative? You see in life, we're all on a journey. You, me, all of us. And in that journey, we sometimes need messages or signs to reassure us of the path we are taking. And as humans, we all go through different obstacles and experiences. And because whatever you're going through, whatever you're working towards, or whatever you're seeking to find, the alchemist has a universal message that will meet you wherever you are. As you follow the protagonist, Santiago, a shepherd, through villages and countries, his quest to find and fulfill his personal legend becomes your own journey as well. During his journey, he learns to listen to the heart and to follow the language of omens. With each passing obstacle and hurdle that he encounters, there is a lesson to learn. Here's what my experience of reading The Alchemist taught me about life and living it on my own terms. Fear of failure, rejection, and the unknown are our greatest obstacles. How many times in life do we just play it safe? Not because we want to, but because we feel like we have to, because we're afraid of what might happen if we don't. What will people think if we fail? What if everything falls apart? What if we change our minds? What if, what if, what if? These are the nagging inner voices that keep us small and that keep us from pursuing our dreams, or in the words of Coelho, our personal legends. In The Alchemist, Santiago is shown what can happen when people abandon their personal legends and simply go through the motions of life. This warning is illustrated through the character of a crystal merchant he meets early in his journey. The crystal merchant is a kind, religious man who has dreams of making the pilgrimage to Mecca. We quickly learn, however, that the merchant will likely never fulfill this personal legend. Why? because he's too comfortable. He has become set in his ways, is terrified of change, and despite feeling disappointed with where he is in life, he still won't step outside of his comfort zone of his little crystal shop. Now, what's most striking about this character is that from the outside, his life doesn't seem all that bad. You probably might look at him and feel like, wow, he's such a successful man. It's only when we get to know him better and begin to understand his deep dissatisfaction and frustration with his life that we realize his story serves as a cautionary tale. For me, this character showed me how I often let fear get in the way of trying new things, making changes, or putting myself out there. The Crystal Merchant story reminded me that even when I'm feeling stuck, I truly never am. Acknowledging my fear and choosing courage, vulnerability, and love instead can be challenging, but it's always only one decision away. The destination of where we want to go is often defined as a dream. Hence, we should live each day so that it gets you one step closer to that dream and destination. It is important to know and remember where you are and whom you are in order to get to where you want to be and whom you want to be. And my favorite quote that I absolutely live by comes from The Alchemist. When you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. You see, nothing worth having ever comes easy. If you want something, you have to be prepared to risk it all. You have to get rid of all doubts and ignore your fears. But if you think big, listen to your heart, and dedicate your life to achieving whatever it may be, the universe will always reward you with attainment. But know this, you will fail. Failure is a part of the process. As when you work out and lift weights, it is the failure that makes it possible for you to grow. You have to be broken down in order to get back up stronger. Like Santiago, you will run into obstacles that you didn't plan for or account for. But each obstacle is a stepping stone, an opportunity to build on and step closer to your personal legend. 
Trust the journey and all of its detours. Throughout Santiago's journey, he makes a lot of unplanned stops. Some of these stops are only for a night or two, others last years. He also runs into many obstacles that force him to backtrack on his progress forward. One step forward, two steps back seems to be an applicable phrase for his trajectory toward attaining his personal legend. As much as I wanted Santiago to find a straight and narrow route for fulfilling his dreams and goals, I knew that his path was meant to be a lesson and a metaphor for life. You see, I worry a lot about getting off track in life, especially in terms of my career, my creative pursuits, and in seeking a higher purpose for my time. All that worrying, however, tends to get in a way of actually enjoying the process or being present for my own unique journey as it unfolds before me. The Alchemist showed me that when you trust and surrender to your own wild, messy, non-linear journey, good things happen. No one's path toward their personal legend is straight, narrow, or without obstacles. And I'm sure we've all seen this graphic before, where this is what we think success looks like versus this is actually what success looks like. It's in overcoming these obstacles and being open to the detours and pit stops where the real magic can occur. We're all connected and everything happens for a reason. One of the biggest themes in The Alchemist is the interconnectedness of all things living and even non-living. This unity is represented by what Coelho refers to as the soul of the world, that which binds all of nature together in the same spiritual essence and purpose. In addition to learning to tap into the soul of the world, Santiago is taught that the only way he can hope to achieve his personal legend is by listening to nature, trusting in forces greater than himself, and speaking, as it's referred to in the novel, the common language of the world. It's these spiritual practices that seem to help carry Santiago forward when everything else has failed, or when the obstacles seem too powerful to overcome. What this aspect of the book showed me is that even when things in life feel meaningless, frustrating, or hopeless, there is always a larger purpose to whatever is going on. Zooming out of my own life and spending time in nature, considering the energetic connectedness of our world and universe, and remembering that I'm not alone, that people before me have felt this exact same way, and that people who come after me will too feel this way, always helps me to ground and support my mindset with a greater sense of ease. Thinking about the soul of the world reminds me that guidance is always there. All I have to do is just seek it. Makhthub, it is written. There's another theme in the alchemist or saying, which is makhthub. Makhthub is translated to it is written. That all of your actions are in the context of fate, which God has written. In a very simple manner, Makhthub can also be translated to everything that happens, happens for a reason. That our paths are already outlined for us to follow. That our fate is written within the universe. To me, Makhthub means that we must not let fear, and most importantly, the fear of failure to get in the way of our own pursuit of our personal legend. For it is written, and what is meant to be, will be. You should not let fear get in the way. Every single thing that we do, everyone that we come across, and each lesson learned is a part of the story of the universe. A story that has been already written, but it is our duty to contribute to it. For in the grand scheme of things, we are just participants in life. However, we still have our duty to ourselves to pursue all and everything that is unique to us. On your journey of your personal legend, remain focused on your goal as your destiny is written in fate and everything is written in the soul of the world. It's the simple things in life that are the most extraordinary. To be different is the greatest and simplest thing that we can do. For being different is being yourself. It is a realization that you are your own unique you. To be different is to realize that your personal legend is yours and yours only. You are you. This makes you unique as nobody else has your experiences. Nobody else is you, and that is your power. Very few of us are lucky enough to be doing what we actually love to do. We strive for status in society and participate in the rat race. A major part of life is spent trying to just please others. But pursue your dreams passionately and with your heart. Live the life that you want to live. Work the job that you want to work. And don't let anyone knock you off of your path. As the key to happiness is the satisfaction of being able to do all that you love doing. Be inspired to be different. Dare to be different. Do not let the fear of others' opinions dictate your actions. 
This life to live is yours. Think for yourself and think big as thoughts become things. Life comes with its own twists and turns. It is never a straight line. If it is, you aren't living or fulfilling your personal legend. As to pursue your personal legend, you will have obstacles. Each obstacle is an opportunity to learn from and about yourself. Guys, trust me when I say this. The Alchemist is a book that you definitely need to read. If you do, let me know how you liked it. And if you're watching this and I've already read it, what do you think? Let me know your biggest takeaways and learnings from the book in the comments below. Till then, see you next time.